What's up everyone, my name is Augustine and today we're going to visit the house of my favorite musician and my favorite neighbor, Sir Paul McCartney. Blackbird singing in the dead of night Take his broken wings and learn to fly so we are here at the super famous Abbey Road Studios, former EMI Studios, which is where the Beatles recorded all of their music. I had the chance to study here at the Abbey Road Institute back in 2018, and I've been inside the studios many times. So if you guys want, maybe one day I can do a video about Abbey Road Studios. But today's video is not about Abbey Road, it's about Paul McCartney's house. And the only reason we're here right now is because we are only a five minute walk from Paul's house. So that is where we're going right now. Okay, I'm here outside Paul McCartney's house at 7 Cavendish Avenue. Actually, I'm in someone's driveway right now, so I hope I don't get kicked out. <laughs> so, a little bit of history first. Back in the early 60s, when the Beatles became really famous and rich, most of them decided to buy houses outside of London. But Paul was the only one who decided to stay in town. So, on the 13th of April 1965, he bought this gorgeous house in St. John's Wood. He bought the house from a physician named Desmond O'Neill and he only paid £40,000, which of course at that time it was a lot of money. Nowadays for £40,000 in London you can probably get a boat and live on the Regent's Canal, but not more than that. He didn't move into the house until March 1966 because he had to do some reformations, for example installing these big gates and the intercom system so he would ensure his privacy and also right now Paul has not one but two cameras before he moved in here he used to live at his girlfriend's Jane Asher's parents house in the last year Paul McCartney's neighbor's house got sold for about 17 million pounds the house is only a five minute walk from Abbey Road Studios former EMI Studios, which back in the 60s, it was Paul McCartney's workplace. So it was very convenient for him. He can walk to work and save a lot of money on the tube. Also, Paul's house is only a 15 minute walk from what now is my flat. So I'm not sure Paul thought of that when he bought the house. I doubt it. Because he was so close to Abbey Road Studios, the Beatles used to hang out here quite a lot and many, many songs were written here, like for example, Penny Lane, Getting Better, or Hey Jude. The house has three stories, and on the top floor, there's the music room where Paul McCartney and the Beatles used to write songs. Also, Paul said that it was here, in the music room, where he offered Mick Jagger his first joint ever. Paul has posted many pictures of the house, and the inside is super colorful, and he has a lot of framed pictures of the Beatles. And also he keeps here the magic piano, which is that super colorful piano that he takes on tour. He used to have a housekeeper, Mrs. Cayley, and he used to live with her and her husband. But they both got fired because they tried to sell their story to an Australian newspaper. In 1968, Paul McCartney's girlfriend, Jane Asher, came back from Bristol and she found Paul in bed with another girl. Eventually they broke up. Paul used to have a meditation chapel here in the garden. Two years ago, a friend of mine was here and she saw Paul right here outside his house. And she said hi, and Paul said hi. But yeah, I wish that was me. Back in 2018, when I was studying at Abbey Road Institute, one day I saw Paul, but I didn't have the chance to say hi because I saw him through the window. But I did freak out, I almost passed out actually. Not only did I see him when he arrived in Abbey Road Studios, but also when he left. The area is lovely, St. John's Wood is a very beautiful neighborhood, it's very very close to central London and it's also quite rich. Unfortunately, as far as I know, Paul is not staying here at the moment because since the pandemic started, he's staying at his house in Sussex. But one day, when he is here, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna ring his doorbell. Yesterday, all my trouble seems so far away, but now it looks like the Okay, so I'm back in my place now. That's pretty much all I have to say about Paul McCartney's house in London. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this. You can follow me on Instagram as well. Thank you so, so much for watching until the end and see you next time.